so many people are abusing drugs every single day, especially Americans. We consume it all the time, every single day. Hold up, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm not talking about illegal drugs or substances. What I'm talking about is dopamine, an organic drug. Hello and welcome to a new channel known as Life Explained. You guys are now life adventurers. You guys are all here to learn something and what you're going to be learning in this channel is all about human psychology, understanding, self-development, the list goes on. But let's start with one simple thing I want to talk about and that is dopamine detox. But before I tell you about dopamine detox, let me give you a slight background. A Swedish pharmacologist and neuroscientist, Arvid Carlson, won the Nobel Prize in 2000 for his research on dopamine. Showing its significance in brain function, he demonstrates that the neurotransmitter is heavily involved in the motor system. When the brain is unable to produce enough dopamine, it can result in Parkinson's disease. The primary treatment for Parkinson's disease is a drug called L-DOPA, which spurs the production of dopamine. Simple solution. Other diseases such as schizophrenia and ADHD imply the usage of dopamine as well. This only begins to justify the importance of dopamine in proper brain function. So let's understand, what is dopamine? Dopamine is an organic chemical found in the brain, also known as 3,4-dihydroxyphenethamine. I don't know if I got that 100% right, but let's just go with it. Dopamine functions as a neurotransmitter, a chemical released by neurons to send chemical signals to other neurons. It is primarily produced in the blood vessels in the arms, legs, and feet, as well as the brain. What we are focusing on in this video is dopamine produced in the brain. The brain has specialized neurons called dopaminergic neurons that release this chemical. These neurons group together into specific specialized areas in the brain called basal ganglia. Now let's understand basal ganglia and its connection to success. This is where the story unravels as mentioned earlier. Basal ganglia are the cluster points of dopaminergic neurons. The role of the basal ganglia is basically action selection. What that enables a person to do is choose between what food you're gonna eat today, what time you're gonna go to bed, or what video game you're gonna play today. So the first action of dopamine is to help you choose. A series of correct choices lead to about success in everything. So if you're driven towards quick rewards such as high sugary foods or get rich quick schemes, you now have something to blame. What does it mean to say someone has high levels of dopamine? A person with high levels of dopamine, whether due to disposition or to temporary, perhaps chemically induced states, can be described as a sensation seeker. The advantage of a sensation seeker is that people see potential stressors or pressures as tests to prove themselves rather than get intimidated by them. This mindset is a shield against whatever life throws at you. It increases their endurance and resolute in the long term. These people can also be known as adrenaline junkies. Now, how does dopamine make you choose an action? The second most important thing your basal ganglia does is strengthening the link between choices and the response. The response is called a teaching signal. Let's say you choose to eat an ice cream. You feel the sugar rush and taste excites you. Your dopaminergic neurons quickly make a positive reinforcing response to consolidate your choice, thus making us fickle humans addicted to unhealthy choices. Then the chemical farther strengths your choices, good or bad and it will strengthen that good feeling in you so you're gonna want it again and again. Now, how does dopamine act as a motivator? The neurotransmitter is also called the wanting hormone. It makes you crave and desire a conclusive result. It is the chemical that makes you latch on for delayed satisfaction. Your dopaminergic centers help you desire success. Let it be financial, relationship, or health and fitness, success requires you to put your sweat and blood into it. Therefore, Dopamine is your friend pulling you towards success through the hard times. Okay, just a quick summary about what we said so far. How does dopamine relate to your success? Number one, it helps you in making choices. Number two, strengthens the connection between outcomes and choices. And three, it motivates you. Success is a sequence of choices, a repetition of good choices and habits, and it needs a person to hold on to it until the desired results appear. So there, you finally see how important your dopamine is. Studies show that an average self-made millionaire fails 3.2 times before they make it. This process demands persistence against the odds. You get the same 24 hours as others. The only thing that is different is your choices, repetition, and persistence. Your willingness to keep on refining your skills, to keep on pushing forward, is all determined by dopamine. So, 
It sounds like a drug that I would want to be taking and everybody else. But what stops you from getting there with dopamine? In today's day and age, it is the easiest and the hardest for a person to achieve success. It's easy because the tools for success, like this video, is just a click away. But hard because the world has so much to offer. For example, while you are watching this video, you might be bombarded with social media notifications and adverts trying to grab your attention. Pornography, mobile games, binge watching, and drugs of any sort all fall into this category of distractions. These deviators are easy pleasures which are quite hard to get in the real world. Your basal ganglia choose to indulge in these stimuli for quicker gratification. Then the dopamine strengthens the connection. Soon you find yourself indulged in these quick stimuli. Your brain goes through a process of desensitizing your dopamine responses, which means you need more and more of these stimuli to keep you going. This is what sets the normal average being apart from the self-made billionaires out there. They don't indulge themselves in such quick fixes to start with. What you never indulged in would never be able to get reinforced in your brain. Their hobbies are even of a healthier kind. And why on earth would you keep on watching this video if you see a notification from Clash of Clans that says a chest of coins has been awarded to you? Do you see where you are doing the real damage? So what is the solution to your problems you may ask? Dopamine detox is the key to success. So if you have fallen prey to such addictions as mentioned earlier, fret not, you still can get your life back on track through a process that I love, dopamine detox. But what is dopamine detox? The term dopamine fasting was coined by Cameron Seppa in a popular LinkedIn article where he described a set of rules such as limiting talking, eating, technology, adrenaline seeking behaviors, and drugs ranging from caffeine to cocaine. Dopamine detox or dopamine fast is a process of you sensitizing your brain towards low natural dopamine levels. It is an extended state where we choose to deprive the system of its most common stimuli for a variety of reasons perceived benefits including greater focus, more control, and more mindfulness. You need to limit the addictions systematically. You need to take it at your own speed. For example, if you are hooked onto binge watching videos, start with a one day detox. Keep that day strictly off videos of any sort. Name it as a rest day. Progress to the desired level slowly, but most importantly, stick to the schedule as we now know how dopamine works in strengthening responses. In the early side effects of dopamine detox, you may get bored and even start feeling lost as your brain is not receiving the adequate dose of dopamine. You might notice drastic changes in your diet or smoking habits if you are trying to quit. You may even get hooked onto it again. So, how to overcome the side effects of a dopamine detox? The most crucial step to follow while on a dopamine detox is to formulate alternative positive reinforcement. Let's say you decide to cut down your calories, then cultivate a positive response by starting a short workout. Or, you start looking at slimmer clothes, touching them and feeling them and imagining how beautiful they would look on you. Imagine yourself 20 years later still slim and healthy with your kids, colleagues and friends. That's going to reinforce that idea in your mind that's what you need to achieve. And if you constantly look at it and constantly imagine it, you'll want it more and more. If you want to focus on your business and cannot stop opening up social media for a random check, set a detox time. Keep focusing on your work and how beautiful it would look finished and how it would help you tomorrow, the next day, a year from now, if you were to just finish the work that you're doing right now. That is a huge positive reinforcement and you picture the dream of your outcome. The boredom is short lasting and you will start to feel far more motivated and energized in a matter of weeks. When you start to see that you're getting more and more done in one day, it will automatically get you latched onto the fast. Okay, so let's also discuss methods to enhance organic dopamine. You may try natural fruits and veggies as dopamine supplements along with a routine exercise. Certain supplements that have a high level of magnesium are excellent for dopamine production in your brain. Studies have found connections between magnesium deficiency and depression. According to some more studies, green tea is a source of L-theanine, a precursor of many neurotransmitters including dopamine. Just drink a cup of tea and it'll get you focused and you won't even have to look at Instagram. 
Fish oil supplementation is another proven method to increase the dopamine levels. Try sticking to a morning fish oil supplement to help your dopamine detox and to get many other health benefits that fish oils offer. So as we reach the end of our video, it is not wrong to assume that some of you might be wondering whether dopamine detox is some sort of scientific test. It is not a scientific test, but the importance of all the scientific facts supporting the argument cannot be overlooked. So whether you take inspiration from Shabbat, sensory deprivation, spirituality, or just shifting your life, I'd recommend giving it a shot. Let us know in the comments below. I would love to know your journey in dopamine detox. Let me know if you fail, let me know if you make it, or you can even let me know what you're addicted to right now. The whole point is to get you what you want and ultimately be successful in your life. We hope that you find all the information we presented today to be useful. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the bell icon before initiating your detox. Good luck and see you online students in our next video.